Hi gamers! Here we have one of the many Christmases of the year for us Magic players. A new set is here. Born of the Gods, continuing on where Theros left off with its Greek mythology here. Uh, not quite as powerful and it doesn't hold really as valuable cards as Theros did. But uh, I still can't resist opening a fresh uh, booster box of, of a new set. So, let's do this here. I got some feedback from my previous box cracks videos that uh, I should really be holding the cards closer to the camera instead of trying to make a big space here uh, where I lay the cards down in an orderly manner. It's not really <laughs> as important as people tell me. So I'm gonna be just putting the box here and opening the cards fairly close here to the camera and we'll just make a recap later uh, at the end of the video about everything that I've got. So first booster, 36 in total to go. Just gonna be skipping the commons, nothing interesting there. Uh, Value-wise First rare, Oracle of Bones. Lots of Minotaurs here in this set. There's a couple of uh, a little bit better um, uncommons. So I'll be putting those aside when I get them. Yeah, the archetypes are interesting. I wonder if they'll be getting any play. A springleaf drum. It's an okay card. It's gonna be. It's it's gonna have some uses with the creatures that require require to be tapped in order for they to do something when they untap. So that's uh, it's a good good card for that. And one of the better rares in the set, Spirit of the Labyrinth. Gonna be. Having no problems with trading that uh, forward. Faded Retribution. Of course, it's always exciting when a card. Uh, References planeswalkers, so here's the first card for destroy all creatures and planeswalkers. Good stuff. Heroes Podium. Still no foils or mythic rares. Grown in sorrow. It's a good, good uncommon. It's gonna get some constructed play for sure. And rare is plea for guidance. Another hero's podium, and we have a foil, foil common, Forsaken Drifters. A 
uh, their archetype, archetype of aggression, fanatic of Xenagos, and Searing Blood, one of the better uncommons here again. Deals 2 damage to the target creature. When that creature dies this turn, Searing Blood deals 3 damage to the creature's controller. And Eidolon of Countless Battles as the rare. Not too bad. You can hear some scratching in the background. That's probably my cat trying to get into the game room here. So just ig ignore that. Whims of the Fates is the rare. Still no mythics. <laughs> but I guess I'll, I'll even out before the end of the box here for sure. Should be looking at four or five mythics, hopefully. Another Spirit of Labyrinth. I'll take it. Excellent. Yes, Temple of Enlightenment. If you uh, saw my one of my uh, earlier magic videos, I uh, showed my collection of lands. I own pretty much every single basic and non-basic land there uh, has been in regular um, sets. So, collecting lands and uh, of course I'm going to be needing all the lands in Born of the Gods as well. So there are three of these temples here, so that's one out of three done. The basic lands here are all from Theros. This is a, a small set, so no um, unique lands produced for this one. Another plea for guidance. And the cat is really driving me crazy right now. I think I might have to Stop the video for a second there after this booster. Give the cat, uh, give the cat a good scolding. And we have the worst mythic uh, you could possibly get: Champion of Stray Souls. Pretty much worthless. worthless. So that's one one mythic down, sadly, and a uh, foil common. But we do get the emblem for Kiora, the crashing wave, so that's good. Okay, that takes care of the cat, I hope. I, I, I bet they can't, uh, well I have two cats, I bet they can't stand with me crinkling the booster wrappers here. And the door is closed, they can't get in. So I guess I'm begging for it, but... Still, I hope they won't be making too much noise there. Another Drown in Sorrow. And Hero of Lena Tower as the rare. Mind Reaver as the rare, and we do have a foil. Another common Flood Tide Serpent. Archetype of Finality. Whelming Wave. I kind of like this. It really is like a, a blue Wrath of God, 4 mana. And return all creatures to their owner's hands. Except for Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses and Serpents. Love the flavor here. 
Ah, and one of those fabled gold counters. Hopefully I'll, I'll get the, uh, what was it, guild? The spell that, that makes this. Oh, this is perfect. I, this is one of the best best commons <laughs> I've seen here. Eye gouge for one mana. Target creature gets minus one minus one until the end of turn. So nothing too fancy. If it's a cyclops, destroy it. That's that's beautiful flavor here in some of these cards. So I really have to hand it to the design team here. And a rare faded infatuation. Where are we with the boosters? So I think we are about halfway there. Maybe not quite. But only one mythic so far, and even that is the champion of stray souls. Which is pitiful, so I really have to step up step up my game here. Ah, oh, and <laughs> speaking of uh, <laughs> stepping up Xenagos God of Revels. One of the better gods, more valuable gods, and my second mythic here. And we have a foil as well, Thassa's Rebuff, an uncommon, uh, and uh, it's a playable, playable spell for sure. Pretty good counter spell for Mono Blue. So yeah, easy to, easy to trade that one off as well. So, kind of uh, swinging fortunes here in, in a single booster. Herald of Torment. It's a pretty decent bestow creature. Another faded infatuation. I think this is like my third rare that I have two copies of. So a bit of a uh, bad randomizing there. If you ask me, of course I wouldn't be. I, I'm not complaining. Oh no, it's the fourth rare. We I had uh, two of the what's the spirit of the, of the labyrinth as well. So yeah, I guess I can't complain. Eater of Hope. Courser of Croup Fix. A decent, I guess, uh, in the top ten rares, at least. And a foil. A oh, foil. Rare, Tromocratis. Yeah, it's a fun, fun little card. Not, not really that valuable. Another whelming wave. Yeah, really, a lot of these double. Rares. Rage Monger, Minotaur Lord, and Faded Return. The so this is two columns down with this booster, one to go, so two-thirds opened so far. And a third Spirit of the Labyrinth. 
that's that's pretty crazy but again like I said not not complaining here with this card could definitely do worse with this set still only two mythics so far Scourge of Scola Vale Hydra Hero of Lena Tower Faded Conflagration. This was also the buy a box promo that I I have here as a foil alternate art. It's a decent decent burn card, and uh, the first time actually that you can uh, directly burn a planeswalker. So a bit of a special card here. We also have a foil, and it's a common Nixborn Wolf. Bile Blight, another one of those better uncommons. Def definitely is going to be uh, used in constructed as well. And second, this time, non foil Tromo Credits. Faded Intervention Getting a little bit desperate with the Mythics so far Only two, one of them good, one of them bad And another Tromo Credits Just what I needed But uh, uncommon Foil, reap what is sown. Oh, Mogus, God of Slaughter, my third mythic. Can't go wrong with these gods. Gotta love them. Silent Sentinel. We have four boosters to go. Mount Brimas, the chaste mythic of the set. That guy is pretty powerful. Fate Unraveler. Three boosters. Nessian Wilds Ravager and two boosters
searing blood, perplexing chimera, and the last one. I'm really, really down with these odds if I if I'm gonna be having just uh, three mythics from a box. So, last chance. Last three uncommons. Reap what is sown. Unravel the ether. Archetype of courage. And the last card here. Silent Sentinel. So, only three mythics here. Unless we do have a foil. So, <laughs> let's go, let's go. Let's do this. Oh no, it was a white <laughs> white creature, but sadly no Brumas, a crawl on Skyguard. So let's do a quick recap of what I got here. And a quick arranging of the cards later. Here we have in addition to the bulk rares, uh, a couple of foils, out of which, uh, which uh, the best is clearly Thassa's rebuff couple of the better uncommons, couple of drowning sorrows, two searing bloods, bile blight and the planeswalker emblem. Out of the rares the best were Temple of Enlightenment, Courser of Crufix, and a total of three Spirit of the Labyrinth. Really happy about these. And a couple of foils, Promo Cradis and the Bayabux uh, uh, Promo Faded Conflagration. Of the mythics, we have Xenagos, god of revels, which is excellent, Mogis, god of slaughter, which is good, and champion of stray souls, which is a, a crying shame. <laughs> uh, yeah, only three mythics, so definitely not one of the better boxes I've ever opened. But still, why does it feel so good to open these up? It's a curse. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.